Please, mask. Oh my gosh. I'm cancer now. Oh my gosh. Excuse me. Cancer the ride. Cancer the ride. Ma'am, I'm cancer now. No, you're not. You're trying to record me. You want to be a cat? I'm going to eat my food. <laughs> Chick fil A. I'm going to get another one. I don't give a about you recording me eating. Yes, I'm eating. Oh, man. I'm cancer now. Cancer. They really don't care. They could not care less. They, they're like, they will get another ride. That's the thing. Like, they're not wrong. They will get another ride. They'll eat their Chick-fil-A. They'll get another Uber. Life is still good, even though they're ruining your day. <laughs> That's nice. Really nice. <laughs> what is happening? What I need to understand, um, well, not what I need to understand, like what someone needs to explain to me because I don't understand, is what happens in an Uber that people start arguing? Like, what goes wrong? I have never had like a bad Uber trip where it's like a fight breaks out or an altercation. Like I'm just confused as to what is possibly going this wrong that it leads to this. I don't know. Come Ignore on. it. It's cold in here. You won't even cut the heater on. A little more. Put in here. Dang. No AC. No. Cut it We're off. paying. You're not. No. <laughs> no. Pay no. You. Go, go, go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. okay. <laughs> Oh, <gasps> okay, see, so this, this gave me more context. They were pissed because they, they wanted heat or air, something. And the man was not doing it. So they're like, we're paying for it. So they're getting mad. But to me, it's like, even if I was in this situation, of course I'm gonna be pissed because I am paying for this. But at the same time, I'm, I'm not gonna fight them and get physical with them. I'm gonna just give them a really bad review and I might call Uber and tell them what happened, but I don't know, I'm not gonna get into like a physical altercation over this. Jump! Go. My dog. Girl, you tripping. North for half a mile. You want to make a left? Okay, well I can't do that. When you do pull, you can only- but I have to drop my bag off, so I mean, please. I can drop you off here. No, 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 make a left. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, oh, I cannot that. do that. That's what I'm trying to tell you. When you do pool, oh. I can only go where it tells me. So we're paying for the ride. Paying for the ride. Well, then. That's... Are you going to give me my money back? I don't have your money. You can just email them I mean, and tell but, them okay, that you took well, the wrong for destination. For the money that I paid, can I? Can you make a left so I can go to my house? In because that's going to be a lot shorter than going to Hollywood. So I mean, that's that would be fair. Wow. Get out of my car. No, but I have to go. I just paid for a ride. What do you mean? I kind of agree with what she's saying, though. Because I I used to, ever since COVID start, or started, they stopped doing carpools. But that's all I would do because Ubers are expensive in Toronto. So I would always carpool. But when you select carpool, it will bring you, because you're carpooling with someone, you, you don't always get picked up or dropped off at your exact location. And that's part of the carpool. And that's why you pay cheaper because of it. So she's just following the carpool rules and route. And I think you're in the wrong. Cause if you wanted directly to your house, you shouldn't have selected carpool. Cause it's not how it always works out. Anyways, that's my uh, two cents. I'm itchy. If it's more than four, I cannot take it. If it's more than four, I cannot take it. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. so you won't even like let us Yeah, like... already canceled. All right, okay. Sorry. Not oh, good. I would have done the same. Let us I know. Yeah, I know. We're good. How long? Two minutes. Two, okay, perfect. You don't ever drive to Uber again. I'll call my buddy right now. Just report it tomorrow. It's not a big deal. I get it. Like, come on. Report it? He didn't even do anything wrong. You know, I'm gonna be honest. When I was younger, 
I did stupid stuff like this. When I got into cabs, which were a thing, Uber didn't exist, we would squeeze an extra person in compared to the seat numbers, which is very illegal and very dangerous. Sometimes they would let us, sometimes they wouldn't. But when I think about it as a responsible adult now, it is very, very wrong. Because if anything, God forbid, were to happen in an accident, knock on wood, you'd get in a lot of trouble because you allowed that many people in a seat that didn't obviously have uh, seat belts because you have extra people. So not worth it. Mm -mm. If I was an Uber driver, I'd do the same. Nope. I get you want to be like the cool Uber driver. You're talking to me? But it's not even worth it. And I'm ashamed of myself that I ever put that on someone in my past as a youngster. There is an issue because... Ladies, we gotta get back. They're waiting for us inconveniently. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, they're drunk. I think I'm gonna cancel the ride. Let's just do it. It's all right. Yep. You get away with it. We're right here, right yep. now. I'm just not gonna be sitting here disrespecting my own car. I'm in the car right now. Please get out. <gasps> really? Yep. Oh no. Let's, let's so work now through. we can wait another fing half hour. We can yep. work through this. Guys. We can work through this. Thank you. He did it, not, not me. Too, oh. Oh. Well, that's what happens when you're drunk and you start mouthing off to people. You're stupid and you're drunk and you're stupid. That's what happens. I don't feel bad. You were melting off and disrespecting that person. Why would they want to keep your ride? Like, seriously, I don't need the money that bad. No. Mm mm. And they were drunk. That girl in the back, man, she was slurring. She wasn't even making sentences. Uh, can't take four people out here. Oh, okay. can you just go, please? No, no. see? Are you serious? Dude, no. Let's get out. It's can you right. cancel? No, nah, you can cancel. No, I've you can been, cancel, uh, man. I've been waiting here. No, nah, you can cancel, bro. Ah, uh, the cancel yeah, argument. Can. I just pulled up. No, seriously, man? I've like, seriously? Here. Like, you can't take us? Yo, I got Either cash. Take I got us cash. home I got or cash. I'll give you extra cash, man. I'm sorry, man. I'll give you extra cash. It's not about the cash. Bro. See? Not about the cash. You're rude. No, I don't, no, 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 don't, 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 I'm sorry, that's rude, yeah. dude, dude, I'm sorry. Oh no, the guy in the front is trying to like overcompensate for his rude friends in the back who are melting off and giving this guy a hard time. It is that whole thing about arguing over who cancels it because if the rider cancels the ride, you can be charged versus if the actual driver cancels the ride, you don't get charged. So that's why they're arguing over who cancels the ride. I am happy I'm not an Uber driver. I could never do it. I just couldn't. Props to those who can, especially in Toronto, but hell no. Hell no. No. Did I say no? No. Yo, I can't take five people, only four. No, we can take Oh my God. Five. No. No, nope. can't take four, or can only take four. No, we can take five. Huh? Oh my God, shut no. up. No. I'm not taking the ride then if you guys aren't. I can't take five. Really? It's against the law. I'll give you 20 bucks. The law. The law. No! Huh? <laughs> the law. You got a, a seatbelt right here. Yeah, for four people. <laughs> Dude, you're crazy. Oh my god, he's drunk. He's drunk. Oh he's drunk. It's not, it's oh. This is so Leo, embarrassing. Yo, seriously? Yeah. Out. Like what? Leo, Leo. Let's go. Out. Ew. I get slapped in the face like Dude. a Dude. I can't fathom how they get mad. Oh, because I won't put my entire life and career at risk because if God forbid, even if someone hit my car and I got all you idiots in this car over the capacity, I'm in trouble, not you. Oh, hell no. And then they start trying to, oh. Entitlement, y'all, entitlement. Oh my God, this will make me look at Uber drivers so different now. The address says Carmelo's. Oh no, it's Monza, it's back there. Okay, I can't I can't read minds. I can only go by what it tells me. Okay, well, are you in a good mood? <laughs> uh, what? I was right up until somebody told me that I was supposed to pick them up at a place where the address didn't tell me to pick them up. <gasps> are you gonna get me home safely or you're gonna have an attitude? Ah! Maybe both. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> Honestly, he was being pretty nice for how like sassy she was being. And at least he's being honest. I will get you home safely, but I will have an attitude while doing it. I regret nothing. Who are you picking up, man? My name he is Gareth. Gareth. I don't care. Who are you picking up? Look, that's not the way the name game works, sir. Put your mask on, first off, if you're in my car. <gasps> you have a lot of information about me. I only have your name. Excuse you, just who the f who are you picking, are you picking up? up? One word. I will ask you one. I'm gonna cancel your ride. 
I'm not picking up anybody. Please get out of my car. I'm not going to talk to you. You do know that's how it works, right? No, it's I ask you. I ask you who to pick up. Okay. You do know how it works, right? I know how it works. I've done this for many years right, now. So I'm confused because that is kind of correct. The driver, usually when you go in, they say, I'm here to pick up and they say the name, which is all on the screen usually also. But the rider does have a right to say, like, who are you picking up? Because I want to confirm that they are here to pick me up and it's not some sketchy ass like kidnapping situation. So I don't know. I'm. I'm kind of with the writers on this one. I think they have a right to say, who are you here to pick up? We're not friends. I don't even know you. What name does it say on your end? Because I want to make sure ours match up. Yeah, yeah we're trying to hook up Bluetooth. I mean, okay, and that car needs to be stopped to hook up Bluetooth. I don't mind I know, that's Bluetooth. why I said don't move. Oh, no, you didn't. Huh? Yes, I did. <laughs> no, you did. Okay. I said hold up. Okay, okay, all right. Well, I don't want to, I don't want to hook up Bluetooth that way. Like, okay, oh. now. Oh, okay, we should now. Pull huh? up. Uh, he doesn't want to hook up Bluetooth. Yeah. No Bluetooth. 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 radio. Yeah. Bluetooth. Yeah, he's lame. That's weird. All right, listen, I'm going to drop you guys back. Um, I'm not oh my you guys. God, we're f***ing chilling. No, I'm not what? taking you guys. Are you serious? Oh, Dude, seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My loss, right? I drove over here. So you guys lost. You guys catch another Uber. Oh my God, I'm literally calling Brad. I'm literally calling Brad. Oh my God, Brad. I'm going to call Brad because Brad's going to save the day. I'm going to call Brad. <sighs> These girls were annoying and I wasn't even with them. Why do you need Bluetooth? That's what I, what? It's not that serious. You're gonna get to your destination, you're gonna leave, who cares? Well, those are some Uber freakouts. I am looking at Uber drivers in a whole different light. Mad respect, hopefully you guys will too. I was your host for this one, Josh Bedard. Bear with me with my film setup. I'm getting it situated, I am renovating. See you in another one. You will see my wall is bare because I am renovating, because I'm freaking bored and we're in another lockdown situation. So I am going to renovate my filming setup. So it's a plain freaking white wall and a lip. Well, lips, plural. I spit and I saw it. Anyways, Uber freakouts.